We'd like to avoid duplication as much as possible because it's sloppy. Right? If, you, if you copy and paste a bunch of code, it's just sloppy to leave it in that state. What you'd like to do is move the copied code into some function and call the function. Of course, sometimes you copy the code and then change the code you've copied, and so that means you're probably going to have to put it into a function that has some arguments. But that's all fairly easy to do. So we don't like duplicated code. We don't like code that's kind of duplicated. We ought to be able to move those into functions. But what do you do when it's not the code that's duplicated, it is the loops that are duplicated? How many of you have seen this problem where you've got a complex configuration data structure? To walk this complex configuration data structure, you have to have a big nested bunch of loops bunch of while loops and if statements that allow you to walk through the, com the, the complex configuration data structure. And then you finally get to the end nodes in there and you've got a bunch of processing code that processes the end nodes. And then you see that same loop repeated over and over and over again inside different parts of the system as the different parts of the system walk different parts of the configuration database. How can you get rid of that duplication? One of the answers to that is, well, if you've got lambdas, you can put that nice looping structure into a function that takes a lambda argument, and then you pass the processing code into the lambda argument. So you can get all of those duplicated loops down into one, and then just pass a lambda in, or pass an object that takes a, a single, uh, single parameter, which is a function. 